Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we'll discuss the third problem of lead code weekly contest 349. Again, a medium level problem, but a good one to solve with some tricky cases, okay? So um, the problem name is collecting chocolates. It says that you are given a zero index integer array nums of size n representing the cost of collecting different chocolates. Now each chocolate is of a different type and originally the chocolate at the ith index is of i -th type. In one operation, you can do the following with an incurred cost, cost of x, okay? What is that operation? Simultaneously change the chocolate of ith type to i plus 1 at type for all indices i where i lies between 0 to n minus 1. Okay. Obviously less than n minus 1. Because for the last index, what happens when i equals to n minus 1, that chocolate will be changed to type of the chocolate at index 0. Return the minimum cost to collect chocolates of all types, given that you can perform as many operations as you like. Okay. Let's see what it's saying. This is my initial configuration 20. 1 and 5 okay in short i can say chocolate number 0 1 and 2 now if i collect these chocolates without any without performing any operation what will be my cost it, it will be 20 plus 1 plus 5 that yeah 15 it is sorry 15 that comes out to be 36 okay let's see whether can i reduce the cost or not right whether i can do any operation to reduce the cost okay suppose you perform one operation the cost of performing an operation one time is 5 okay so First, you collect this chocolate, okay? Before performing any operation, you collect this chocolate. Why? Because it is the minimum cost, right? It is the minimum cost of the array. So, it doesn't matter how many times you perform the operation. Your aim is that whether or not it is possible to collect all the chocolates at, at minimum cost. So, this chocolate is already at the minimum cost. So, yes, you have collected this chocolate. Cost is 1 plus you perform an operation. It becomes 5, right? 1 plus 5 is the total cost. So, what happens? this type of chocolate comes here this type of chocolate comes here and this type of chocolate comes here okay just see we'll now perform the operation at a cost of 5 and the type of chocolate will become 2 0 and 1 right now when it becomes 2 0 and 1 what you will do you bought the chocolate of type 1 but you are still left with buying a chocolate of type 0 and 2 so now this type of chocolate at 2 is here right and cost is again 1 right so buy it right you buy it now i am done with 0th chocolate as well okay i am done with 0th chocolate as well now what i'll do i'll perform this operation once again okay if i perform this operation once again what happens 2 comes here 0 comes here and 1 comes here okay so i what what which type of chocolates have i covered i have collected 1 and 0 i am left with 2 2 is here the cost of now the cost of cho collecting chocolate at index this is 1 right so you performed an operation and again you collected the chocolate so this is 13 what i mean to say if you select any other configuration the cost of cho collecting chocolates will be more than 13 right our aim is to basically check that is it possible to buy a particular chocolate at minimum cost but again to buy a chocolate at minimum cost, you will have to perform those operations. You, you also have to check that if I am performing those operations, it should not it should not be the case that, okay, I am buying the chocolate at the minimum price, but overall cost has increased because of performing those operations multiple times, right? That's the main intuition. Let's come to the second example. It's 1, 2, and 4. Sorry, 1, 2, and 3. So this is type 0, uh, 1, and 2. You collect this one, right? This is the minimum cost. Now, even your total cost is 1 till now even if you perform one operation what happens this guy becomes 2 0 and 1 right you have collected 0 if you collect 1 if you collect this type of chocolate first you have performed a shift then you are collecting it right the cost is already 6 okay the cost is already 6 and you have only collected two type of chocolate getting it however if you do not perform any operation and directly collect all the three chocolates it will be 6 getting it it will be 6 because for this configuration to minimize the cost right now the cost is this right so this is the case where i was saying that you need to see that if i aim to buy every chocolate at the minimum cost it should not happen that the uh, total cost of operation is exceed, exceeding it right so that's the main problem statement we have to return the minimum cost right now, just see the constraints. Constraints will be helpful in solving this problem. It says that the number of elements you can have in your array is 1000, right? 1000, 10 raised to 3. Roughly, big O of n square will also work here, right? Right? 
दीज कंस्टेंट्स आर रियली हेल्पफुल इन यू नो कमिंग अप विथ एन एल्गोरथम राइट ऑब्वियसली यू कैन ऑप्टिमाइज इट बट दिस इज समथिंग वी कैन राइट राइट विथ सम ऑप्टिमाइजेशन सो दैट वी कैन अवॉइड सम केसेज राइट नम्स ऑफ आई इज टेन रिस्ट पॉर नाइन एंड एक्स इज टेन रिस्ट पॉर नाइन राइट ईच एलिमेंट कैन बी दिस एंड द कॉस्ट ऑफ एन ऑपरेशन कैन गो अप टू टेन रिस्ट पॉर नाइन राइट सो लेट्स कम टू द इंट्यूशन पार्ट लेट्स कम टू द इंट्यूशन पार्ट कोडिंग इज वेरी सिंपल यू विल बी एबल टू कोड एनी थिंग इफ यू इफ यू आर एबल टू कम अप विद द इंट्यूशन राइट सो जस्ट सी दिस इज माई एरे सपोज देर आर सम एलिमेंट्स आई डोंट नो वॉट बट सपोज देर आर सम एलिमेंट्स राइट नाउ अज्यूम दैट द मिनिमम कॉस्ट इज प्रेजेंट हेयर राइट सपोज इट इज वन एंड अदर्स आर सपोज हंड्रेड ओके टू हंड्रेड समथिंग लाइक दिस ओके नाउ आई हैव बॉट दिस टाइप ऑफ चॉकलेट राइट I need to buy this, 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 and this. Out of five, I have bought the one which is having the minimum cost. Now I need to buy the other chocolates. So what I'll do? If I perform an operation one time, okay, that means this guy shifts here, this guy shifts here, it goes here and it goes here. Right? This is what happens. So now, in short, can I say that if I perform an operation one time, what are the possible values? at which i can buy a particular chocolate so if i talk about this case either i can buy either, either without performing an operation i can buy this chocolate at cost 100 or let's take this example for uh, uh, let's talk about this if i don't perform an operation i buy this particular type of chocolate at cost 100 however if i perform this operation one time i can buy this chocolate at this cost as well right ultimately for a particular index i what are the possible cost what are the possible buying prices i can have so it will be the current cost and the number of operations that you are performing if you are performing one one operation this guy will come here if you are performing two operations the, after two operation this will come here and it will come here getting it that means the last two values will come here right after after step one this would have been here after step two this would have been here getting it if you perform operations three times so what happened In step one, this comes here. In step two, this comes here, and step three, this comes here. Right? Obviously, step by step. So, at a particular index i, the last n values can come here, and you can choose at any particular point of time, whichever is the minimum value, you can buy that particular type of chocolate at that time. Right? For example, let's take a concrete example. Suppose these are the numbers. Okay, and um, this is one. Let's take this is ten. This is uh, two. This is three. Okay. and i am performing suppose three operations okay and i want to buy this chocolate so after one operation and suppose the current cost is 100 okay uh, what are the options if i don't perform any operation let's talk about only this chocolate okay i can buy it at 100 okay second option i can perform an operation but that will be x x amount of cost right x amount of cost plus this will come here so whatever is the minimum of two i'll buy from that right Right now it is hundred. It becomes ten. So I can incur a cost of x plus hundred. This is option one. This is option two. What is the third option? If I perform operation two times, so performing operation two times means two x plus whatever is the minimum, right? So what are the possible values here? Initially it was hundred. Then ten came. Then two came, right? How two came? After one operation it would have come here and this came here, right? After the second operation this would come here, right? So this. What happens after the third operation? So the configuration looks like this: three, two, ten, hundred. After operation one, it looks like three, two, ten, hundred. Right? Forget about what are there. Right? After the next iteration, it looks like this, this, three, two, ten. Right? Just see. So that means the last n values are coming, where n is the number of operations you are performing. Right? So all I need to do is. I uh, uh, you know a, a simple way to solve this problem could be that just see that for every number of operation what are the to what is the total cost that you are incurring that you are incurring right now comes the question how many maximum operations can i perform right i'll talk about the about the implementation how many maximum operations you can perform so suppose you have n elements right 1 2 3 suppose you have 3 elements right if you perform one operation this guy goes here this goes here okay suppose 1 2 3 after step 1 it becomes Three, one, two. After step two, if you perform this operation once more, it becomes two, three, one. And after one more operation, it becomes one, two, three. That means just see, you got the same array. Meaning, if the length of if the number of elements you have is n, 
and how many times you can perform the operation n minus 1 okay here you have three elements so one two you perform the operation only two times the, the moment you perform the operation third time you get the initial array so that means if the number of elements here is at max thousand okay 10 raised to power 3 at max you need to perform these many operations okay simple and these many operations into these many elements right traversing for every operation traverse the whole array okay this is the main intuition now comes the question how for a particular operation how to find what is the cost right how to find what is the cost so just see here again these are the elements i have okay suppose i am performing op number of operation why i am taking variable op because that's what i have written in the code suppose i am uh, you know uh, performing op number of operations so if i am here for this index i'll consider last op values and the current values and the current value okay suppose op equals to 2 so i'll consider this and last two values because these are the possible values that will ultimately come to this index right that's what i'll do and also if i have calculated it for this index calculating the last op values for this index is very simple how sliding window technique when you come here you add this to your you know set and you remove it right for this you are considering these three values for this you will consider these three values so transforming this into this is very simple right you can take a map i have taken a tree map reason being i want the minimum cost and in tree map the keys are sorted right so at a very particular point of time what i'll do i'll just fetch the smallest value right why because suppose these are the entries in my tree map so the keys will be sorted right suppose the keys are that um, two comes one time three comes two times five comes three times and so on okay so i know that in my window two is an element so obviously I will be buying that this particular type of chocolate at cost equals to 2. Simple. That's what I'll do. And then when I move here, I'll remove this element. Okay. I'll remove this element and I'll add this element, right? Tree map is already sorted based on key, right? So these are some of the things that I'll be using to solve this problem. Let's look into the code. It will be a good revision and you will be, you know, crystal clear with the solution, right? Let's start with this. This, these are the number of elements I have. Initialize my answer with zero. Now, if I don't perform any operation, what happens? The cost is sum of all the elements, right? Simple. You do not perform any operation. Similar to this case, one plus two plus three, right? This is my initial value. Now, let's start performing the operations, okay? As I told, how many operations can I perform? One to n minus one. So, just see, op equals to one. It goes less than n, okay? Now, what is the current cost? Let's current uh, let's calculate the current cost. That means if I perform these many operations, so long current equals to op into x. If you are performing op number of operations, op into x is the cost that you have to you'll have to pay because these many times you are shifting, right? Then now you have a tree map. In your tree map, you you are pushing the zeroth value, right? In your array, you start from here, right? Window starts from here. You are pushing this value. Now what you do? Suppose, suppose I'm considering the first value. So what I'll do, suppose I'm uh, inserting last two elements. So for zeroth element, I'll consider this element and last two elements, okay? Last two elements. So that's what I've done here. I equals to zero, I less than OP. Because these many number of elements I need to consider. So add that in your map. Map dot dot n minus i minus one. Getting it? So the last value is this, the second last value is this and so on, right? That's what I've done here. Simple stuff. If it is already present, increment the count or else put it with a frequency of one, right? Now you have done it. Add the first key in your answer, current answer, because for this index, what is the minimum cost that is present in the tree map? So first key is the smallest value. Now left equals to n minus op because for this element, one, two, three elements you are considering. For this element, what you will consider this and this, right? This, this and this. So you have to remove it. So I'm taking uh, an index so that I can keep on sliding it that which value do I need to remove for the ith index I need to add the ith index and I need to remove the leftmost you know uh, index of the window here I know it is forming a cycle but this you will remove in the next iteration you will remove this then in the next iteration you will re remove this so that's what I am doing left equals to n minus op for i equals to 1 i less than n put the ith index remove the left index simple now, if the count of left index become equals to zero, remove it from the map, right? Because we are concerned about the keys and there is a possibility that 
uh, I have an entry in my map like this, that two comes zero times. So this will give you wrong answer, right? So as soon as the frequency of an element becomes zero, you remove it from the map, okay? That's why map.getNems.left equals to zero, so remove it. If the frequency becomes zero, remove it. Left equals to left plus one mod n because again, because of cycle, suppose your left comes here, you, you have removed this element. Now the next time you remove this element, right? So how do you form a cycle? Simple, left equals to left plus one mod n. Current plus equals to map dot first key. Okay, this was for the zeroth index, and from here I am calculating from the first index, right? Meaning, if you are doing this operation one time, this is the cost. If you are doing this operation second time, op plus plus, again calculate the cost and so on. At every particular point of time, just compare answer equals to min of current and answer, and that will be your final answer, right? However, if you write this code without considering this, you will get a TLE. Okay you'll get a TLE. So we need to add some optimization. What are those optimization? Just see, just consider one thing, right? This is very logical. Suppose you are doing operations, okay? You are doing some operations and at a particular point of time, your cost comes out to be CURR, current, okay? Now, if this current is increasing, whatever is your current, whatever is your answer till now, if that is less than the current, that means there is no need to perform any more operations. Why? It means that the the uh, cost of uh, you know shifting the elements is dominating now so if you perform more shifts your answer will keep on incrementing and i have to return the minimum cost right simple so that is why i've added this condition that if current is greater than answer like if after op number of operations i'm getting a value which is greater than answer so no need to perform more operations right no need to perform more operations because your shifting operation is dominating and hence you just break the loop if you remove it you know the the algorithm will be very tight right it can give you tle right in many cases it will give you tle so that's why i've added this condition uh, to basically add this optimization part right so this question was a combination of i would say sliding window right first thing is sliding window the second thing is again observing how you can calculate the minimum cost at every particular point of time right so a very good problem to solve and you can see that with the help of uh, accuracy as well it's on the lower side so yeah that's it for the solution i hope you learned something new from this video do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel in case of any queries mentioned that in the comment section i'll revert on each one of them and yeah i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye